partir, en bien fait. Bien sûr, bien sûr. Mais c'est tout le secteur dont il faudrait parler. Mais voilà. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this beautiful, peaceful nature, which obviously um, contrasts a lot with what this place is known for. So we are in Verdun, actually we're up north. Um, this weekend, because it's February 4 today, I'm in an expedition uh, here to show you around, film, visit museums, learn about the history, and share all that with you guys. There's a lot to see. I'm definitely not gonna be able to see everything in one weekend, obviously. But ju just on the road, it was crazy how many places I wanted to stop and film for you. So on my way back, that's definitely what I'm gonna do for uh, at least the places I'm gonna be able to. And uh, yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video, learn, learn new things, and um, yeah, we're gonna go. Oh, I saw a military really beautiful military cemetery just down that road so this time uh definitely gonna get flowers <laughs> Each side then tried to overtake the other in a race that ended at the North Sea. The Western Front stagnated along an unbroken line of 700 kilometers long.
I'm back in the car from the memorial. I could have stayed longer, but you know, obviously it was kind of depressing. It's 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 tough to be in there honestly and in see all that the videos and hearing especially hearing hearing the I mean all the all the things. Um but it was amazing uh, i highly recommend it they did an amazing job honestly it, just wow so many things to say i i really highly recommend it if if, if you're around yeah so far it, it's it's so interesting um it's it's tough i mean i i was expected it to be tough you know like it was in normandy but uh i don't know i do feel like it's it's a little more difficult here because of all the the, the sound that you can here and then the videos and the photographs and uh, like you really see what happened that VR thing at the end was amazing wow because i was in um j'étais dans une montgolfière et en fait on voyait le, le champ de bataille on voyait d'où ils tiraient les avions dans le ciel etc ils expliquaient certaines choses et c'était génial yeah that was really nice let's go to our next destination i just wanted to say if you take if you buy a ticket for the memorial um i mean there's a, it's 17 euros but that's that's probably cheaper just for the memorial but if you buy uh, they have like a mixed thing and so you have two forts and the memorial for only 17 euros which is like you have um, a free fort like a free ticket to the fort somehow and it's just one ticket for everything so make sure to keep it and yeah mine is is of um i can use it until tomorrow because i know that it can take a lot of time and in you may not be able to do everything in one day so mine is for two days so i i think it's not just only because we're in the weekend but i believe it's it's for it's for every uh you know every time That's how it is. You park over there, and either you enter there and you do you do blah, blah, you do the inside, you visit the inside. Either you're like me, you wait that all those people are done with the inside, and you do the exterior first. Um, we have a, a very great view. I mean, it's like we can see very far, which I believe is why this fort was built here. You can. You can see how the the bombings shaped that whole area. They walled it, but you can see. Actually, you can see. Really nice. That's a that's a big one. Wow. Wow. It's awfully quiet. There's not even a bird. Bird cheaping, I think you say.
Unfortunately, we can't, we can't go up. I mean, I guess it's too dangerous, especially with all the water. I'm actually uh, smaller than that. It's pretty deep. All right, that's high school in English. Uh, I'll try to pronounce it, but I'll say, oh, sure. I don't know. That should be open. Okay, so this one, guys, is a French, um, mm, like a French military cemetery, I think you would say. And uh, it mainly, so it, it's for the first, uh, the World War One, fourteen to eighteen, but it's it's mainly from the battle uh, that happened in in Verdun in eighteen sixteen. So we're gonna we're gonna visit, pay our respect, and I'll go to the Osheri or however you say that in like ten minutes or something. It's still not open. Look at that, guys. We're getting some sun. Should have been raining and look at that. It's it's a very very quiet again, very nice, very um well taken care of, I would say. Cemetery. So it's the French one, this one, just next to I mean in front of the Oshery or however you say that word. I'll be trying to go inside this Oh, sure, and then I'll try to head to the American Cemetery, which will be around here. Um, it was amazing. I saw a lot of signs saying no camera, no pictures, no nothing. As much as I really, really wanted to film a little bit or even just take a few pictures of, of this beautiful and, and very uh, peaceful. There's no word for that. It's just an amazing place, guys, really. So yeah, I didn't by respect, you know, like... If you're not supposed to, I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, I I still did take two pictures. It was at the top of the 
the the the monument when you you where in in where in which where you can see the whole it's like you have to go all the way up so that's, a, that's a lot of stairs that's for sure but worth it because the view is amazing so i just took a picture of the bell because it, you, you're going all up and the bell is just there so you gotta be careful because if it's ringing which it does from noon to six oh my god you know the years i didn't experience that fortunately just took a picture of the bell and uh in the view which i think was amazing but as as, as for the rest of of um this memorial I, I did not out of respect obviously but i highly like every place i've been so far recommended to you guys if not you might find it probably on youtube or something but no my channel something that i meant to mention is that on this in this memorial there are 130 or 160 thousand soldiers bird just over here I mean, <laughs> behind the big car that's like super interesting um it's a it's a memorial for the pigeons who uh, were in this fort and who helped during the war and from this fort the last one of them left from this fort oh that's interesting he succeeded nice